and back. Y'all already know. I feel like lately I've been having um, doubts about, I guess, myself in general because um, I've been having this YouTube for quite some time now and um, I obviously just never put it out there because first I told myself, well, let me get a little more comfortable in the camera and then I can expose myself, the fact that I even have a YouTube because not to lie, like in the beginning, I don't think I was ever gonna share that I have a YouTube. If you came across it, then you came across it. But if you didn't, then you would have never known because it was just kind of gonna be for me. Um, just for my my eyes to see myself I guess like I said these are the doubts that were in my mind because I kept making excuse after an excuse and I'm like okay well let me get comfortable in front of the camera first and then my second excuse was okay well first let me have at least 10 videos up and then I can say hey guys I have a YouTube and then it went up to um, from 10 it went up to 20 videos and I think I already had like 30 videos on once I decided to actually go through with it and I'm like okay well hey if it goes nowhere then it goes nowhere it wasn't meant to be but at least you can say you did any everything in your power um, to make it happen so I went for it and I'm like let's see where it goes like I said, if it goes nowhere, then it goes where, nowhere. You lose absolutely nothing. But if it does, you gain absolutely so much. So, um, yeah, I finally said F it, <laughs> YOLO. And I was like, let's just put yourself out there. Because honestly, I just never, ever, ever in a million years think that I would be literally standing where I am today and I say this because I am standing in what I call my office um like I just never thought I had it in me to and I know it's not like I've accomplished so much trust me I as like it's my it's about to be my second year actually we just hit our two-year anniversary in simplicity but has it been easy? Has it always been successful? Hell no. It, like, is it what I even say? Well, I'm not going to say it's not successful because we've come a long way. So it's definitely been successful. But obviously not to the point where pff, I can quit my 9 to 5 and this is all I do. No. But I just, like, to me, where we are today is accomplishing so much and, like, for that, I am just so very proud of myself because, like I said, never in a million years did I ever think that I would be standing where I am today doing this, let alone, like, like just the, the person I am today, although I struggle a lot with other things that I am still working on. But to be this person, like, so confident in to be able to start something, to actually have that confidence in me to believe that people are going to buy your creations that you come up with, that you make with your two hands. That confidence is just unbelievable to me because it literally, like, it's just not who I ever was. And with that, does not necessarily mean that um you're not gonna have second doubts of yourself or just you know those negative thoughts um i feel like for a really long time i was doing really well you know like every day i i literally like i talk to myself so much and um like i literally give myself these little reminders that i know i need and it helps a lot but I don't know what it is. I've just been a little off lately. Um, don't mind me. I'm also going to be eating my snack. Um, 
but yeah, I feel like I've just been a little off lately. Um, I don't know if it's because I tend to get a little emotional um, for some weird reason. Ever since I was a little girl, I just get emotional uh, for New Year's. It's never Thanksgiving or Christmas, any other holiday. It's always New Year's. And I've, till this day, I'm trying to understand why. Like, I really, really am. But not there yet, um, but it's okay. But yeah, I've been very emotional these last like couple days, week. I've been, um, I don't know, I guess second guessing myself. Like I had a really long moment where I was like, oh my God, like what the heck did you do, Ashley? Like, why did you say that you have a YouTube? Like who cares if you have a YouTube, <laughs> you know? With my simplicity too, like I think I'm just really hard on myself is what I've realized. Which again, I have never been hard on myself ever. Like I would say I was just a little like more carefree and careless about myself. And yeah, I know that's not exactly a good thing. But now I just feel like I'm too hard on myself sometimes where I don't know the balance. Like I'm, I don't know, like, am I, am I being too hard on myself? Like, or am I not doing enough? Like I get those thoughts a lot and it, is a little frustrating and I struggle because I feel like I've come such a long way and when these thoughts come oh, trying to overcome my mind I'm just like it's kind of been a tough battle with myself lately and um, I just wanted to share that because I feel like I'm just on this healing journey of mine where I'm just figuring myself out. I'm figuring life, this world out as I go. And all I want to do is encourage and help others who were in the same boat as me because I feel like a lot of us at some point in our life were just in a really dark place where we didn't really quite understand it and um looking back like who i was what i was doing just everything i feel like i really was in a dark place and i i was like i knew it but i didn't know what to do about it and i just kept going on with my days and my life just letting them pass by you know and so finally like i just said enough enough was enough and i was tired of feeling the way i was feeling so i changed so much and here we are today like a totally different mindset totally different perspective on life and on myself so i feel like on so on my social medias especially instagram like i just want to be that light for someone who needs it because i know how it is and how it feels to be on the other side and um i remember when i was video journaling in the beginning starting all this like i literally would cry to myself i would vent to myself what i was feeling i would i would um i would literally just talk about my feelings with myself in my room no one around and it was a really good experience for me and i think that's what helped me a lot too all the um on top of that all the books i was reading really really like literally changed my life and i now i just want to be i'm not the perfect example because nowhere near perfect nowhere near am i like fully healed from everything and nowhere near am i like anything above anyone but i do have this different mindset now and i do have this different belief system that not saying everyone should believe but it's literally helped me in this life to like overcome so many things that I never thought I would and it's literally helped me just start things that I never thought I would because I never had that confidence or self-belief. I want to share the side where although you are, you have been like Putting in this practice, there are moments where you are gonna fall back a little and example, like 
I'm having self-doubts and um, I have my moments. These last couple days I've been super emotional to the point where like I was crying probably the last two to three days and um, like I just have like a super random and it's not a mental breakdown. It's not like oh my god why is my life like this? No it's nothing like that. It's just it's just um, these feelings that come up. I wasn't allowing myself to really sit with them and try to understand them. I was just, in fact, I feel like I was telling myself like, dude, why are you crying? Like, you've come such a long way, don't go back. So I wasn't allowing myself to do that and that is like the worst thing you can do. And the fact that now I told myself and I literally like, I'm like, okay, if you're gonna cry, like cry it all out, like do what it takes, but stop pushing it away. Like there's obviously something that you need to feel and let out. So just do it, like it's, perfectly okay so i did that these last two days and i feel like now i'm finally like i got my mojo back <laughs> and that's why i just wanted to come on here and share because even i don't know people you think that have it all together like we're all human we're all in this world trying to figure it out in the best way possible in the best way we can to the best of our knowledge and that's why I also decided to do YouTube because I want my journey on here. I want it for people to come across and to see because I know that we are going to go so much, so much further than where we are now. And I can, I plan on continuing to be this person and more. So I just want to spread light and positivity. But I also want to share the real, the reality of it. Like it's obviously not always rainbows and sunshine, whatever they say. I hope that made sense. I hope I didn't scramble my words too much where you're like, girl, what the F did you just talk about right now? But this is my journey through life and I want to just share as much as possible well I don't know about sharing as much as possible but I just want to share like whatever message I feel can help someone or whatever message I feel someone needs to hear whatever message I feel someone can relate to I just I feel like I don't know we're all just trying to find our purpose here in life right I hope and if not then as long as you're happy then by all means continue living your life to the fullest in whatever way that means to you as long as it's making you happy better and healthy like by all means but i just feel like i really really enjoy and want to help others the way i am just helping myself to be a better human every day and that's literally it. <laughs> Thank you if you've listened so far to the all this video because I know that was probably really boring. But um, yeah, I just wanted to share that with you guys. But before I leave it off, I do just want to say like, don't give in to your self doubts or your negative thoughts. Allow allow them in, feel them, talk to them but do not give in to them because remember that at the end of the day, it is you versus you. Remember that you have everything in you already to achieve anything you put your mind to. The sky is the limit. If you also need to like every morning, look look at yourself in the mirror and literally tell yourself these things i am capable i am worthy of whatever my heart desires i am strong enough to overcome anything that comes my way or anything that life tries to throw at me and just remind yourself of the power that lies within you because it's there girl it's there i promise it just takes daily practice and i don't know just some advice some knowledge from other people like 
open-mindedness. It just takes everything all together to be the person of your dreams and nothing in this life is impossible. And I pray and I plan on being that example for hopefully a lot of people. The main credit that I really need to give in everything and all that I have and who I am today is to my beautiful and amazing, my rock, like this guy is everything to me. And um, I've, if it were up to me, I wish I can share him with the entire world because I feel like everyone needs someone like him in their life at some point in their life. And yes, that is my dad. <laughs> my dad is my number one supporter in everything and anything. He's just, I I can go on about <laughs> everything he's been to me and more and what he continues to be for me. And with that is the best role model and superhero. He will always be my superhero. Um, but yes. I feel like a lot of this new knowledge that I have and um, belief and mindset and confidence also does, of course, mainly come from him with all his talks, all his wisdom, all his things that he sends me to read and learn. Like he does and goes above and beyond to make sure I'm living a happy and peaceful life and that's what we're doing right now we are living a happy and peaceful life and i want that for everyone in this world i am like i feel like a, i am little i'm literally like those pageant girls where you ask me what i want i want world peace world peace okay but no for real i just want everyone to feel content and I want everyone, especially everyone I love, I want them to, like, I feel like if it were up to me, I would, my one wish would be to, like, take away everyone's sorrows and pain because I've seen what pain does to people and the way it just, I don't know, it can take control of your life, literally. So I just don't, I obviously don't want anyone I love and care about to go through this. But I also understand that in this life comes pain. It's just inevitable. It's just how you handle it and how you see it and what you do with it. And that's what I want for everyone to have is to know how to do these things so that it doesn't overcome your life and it it doesn't take away like that part of you where you just like no longer know yourself or know your purpose in this world or you're questioning yourself or whatever it is i just want the best for everyone and that's it <laughs> now i'm gonna leave it off with that that's my message to you to whoever comes across this and to whoever um, hears it just know that you have one person who believes in you you have one person who loves you you have one person who cares for you and by any means like I just I'm right here I'm right here if you need anything and even if I don't know you like I don't care we can I don't know we can make it work I think that this is just what this world needs sometimes is just more people who are open enough to extend their knowledge and love out into the universe for whoever needs it so with that being said that is going to be the end of this video and until the next one thank you so much if you've um listen to the entire thing and if you skip through it even then thank you so much for being here